allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And today I will be doing a military edition. I've never seen anyone does this before, so I'm not really sure. Someone could have probably do it before, but today I will be trying on my husband's uniform. Um, his PT uniform, cold, both cold and dry weather uniform, and his normal everyday wear. There's one uniform that I refrain from trying on, and that is his dress uniform. I handle that uniform with so much care. If it's laundry or getting it ironed or just putting it away, I respect that uniform so much because these brave men and women have sacrificed so much for this country, and I have to literally earn that right. And I don't do that, so I am in no way trying to disrespect what the uniform stands for. So I will not be trying on that uniform. And let me just say, if you're not patriotic, then you shouldn't even be opening this um, this video because I won't come in here and be, oh, I'm sorry, apologize to those who don't support the military. No, if you don't support the military, then you, sh you should have read by the title and just scroll through because I want to apologize for what I stand for or what I believe in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is just like a fun video to see how I would look if I was supposed to join the military. First thing first, PSA, I won't. My heart wants to do it, but I'm too soft for that. If you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. So no, I can't do it. So today I'll be trying on his PT uniforms and his regular day-to-day -day uniform, both wet, um, cold, they live in Alaska, so their uniform changes throughout the weather. So I'll be trying on the cold weather and just normal summer wear. So now I'm gonna go, first I'm gonna try on the summer wear look. So hope you guys like this one. Long socks. This is summer wear, guys. This is the summer wear I'm talking yeah, about. Say, Long jackets. socks, my sneakers, my little shortsy, <laughs> and my shirt. Oh my god, I actually like this. Guys, I'll be turning up at PT, and this is physical training in the morning at 5, well, 4.35. If I was in the military, and I was going to physical training in the morning, in the summertime, this is what I will be wearing. See my socks? They're long. Let me see if I can show you guys my shoes. You see these shoes? I can't show you guys. I put my shoes in the dryer with some pillows and look at it. Because my husband says it makes the pillows fluff if you put the shoes in the dryer with it. But I like this. Be working out like, let me see what workout I would be doing. Like this. Ooh, I'm tired. Even though I'm wearing this and trying to make a video, it's like with so much honor that I can't even put this on. Like, I don't know. There, it just means a lot to me that my husband bravely and willingly serve his country and is willing to sacrifice literally his life for the safety of this country. So, yeah. So now for the cold weather, I don't have to go change, I can just whip this off. Uh, I'm going First, I'm going to need a beanie. Uh, and I think the military, they get to like put their hair back. No, once it's, no, I think they can't do this. Once it's not in your face, it's against regulations. Yeah, I know a lot about the military because of course my husband serves. But it's only right that I would know the rules. So I'm going to put this up. So I guess your hair can't be like just lying around. I'm going to put this back like this. I'm going to need my sweatpants. Yeah. So all you need to do now is just like whoop. Okay. And whoop over your shorts. Ooh. So you have your side pants on. Now, they they wear long sleeves as well. So you can just imagine how cold it has to be in Alaska. 
And you would think, oh my God, it's snowing so much. No, PT. Hell no. You better get up out of your bed and go. So, um, okay. You know, actually, I think I see my husband put the long sleeve on first, then this. Oh, listen. Wait, did I put it? Oh, I put it on back. Wait, wait. Let me see. Probably not. Mm, it kind of looks funny. It should be in the front, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. The struggle is real. So, no, I'm just going to turn it around. All right. There we go. Oh, I'm tired. So this is it now. So which one should I put? This one in. This one is in the best one. So I guess this one should be in this one too. I don't know. I literally don't know. Okay. Let's show you guys. So now you think this is it? That's not it. Jacket. shirt all right Whew. okay you gotta zip up your thing to here so now i'm a tracksuit and you would have guessed that now i'm all covered you know that my hair is covered my thingy is right here i need gloves gloves because in Alaska, you will be freezing cold. So you go need your gloves. Um, I guess this is the left hand. Whew. I'm tired from just putting on that. All right. Let me see. Ooh, yeah. I am done now. Ta-da! No, not done. You're going to actually need a... The thingy for up here. I think it's called like a balaclava. No, the balaclava is the one that come. You just see your high like a face like right that. You're gonna need one that you're gonna put all the way over your head, and then just like a turkey neck thing. Create that. But actually, I can't go dig for that because I pack away his winter stuff um, for the most part. So yeah, you would need something to put under your neck like this. So only thing you're seeing is like your face. So I have gloves, shoe, socks shorts sweatpants t-shirt and this guys i am burning out the windows are open and i'm burning out like crazy okay winter is on so now oh god this is a lot and when i think about it and that's why i got so much respect for my husband that go that go out and do these things on a daily for literally like seven months because winter is like that long here and you have to wake up and some days i wish i could just say babe just lay no he never can call in sick unless you know how they do the sick thing with the military like if you're sick you have to bring yourself sick body there and let them see that you're sick and then bring your sick ass back here it's not like oh anyone is gonna drive you home you have to drive there just to show up to say you're sick and drive back home. And that worries me for him sometimes. Like, what if it's like that case? I wouldn't be able to even drive him there. He would have to drive there to show up and then drive himself back here. And that's one thing, like a lot of people, they look at the army and think they're just some group of people or controlling us, but they're literally protecting you guys. Like, as I said, I won't apologize for what I stand for. So if you reach this far in the video, then that means you're all for the military too. And every other um, armored security, the police force, the private securities, people in the security forces, the people, the wardeners that have to control the, 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 the prisons. Like I respect these guys so much because they're doing so much for the country. Like it's unbelievable. So now that I've tried on both the dry, that, why I keep saying dry? Winter and summer. Uh, <laughs> PT clothes. I'm gonna go try on 
the regular day-to-day -day wear. And in the regular day-to-day -day wear, it's the same uniform they wear throughout summer and winter. And the only difference is the headwear. In the summer, they wear this with their uniform. In the winter, they wear their beret because my husband is Air Force and he's now a senior specialist, which I'm so glad. So my husband is a specialist, so yeah. So now I'm gonna go change into this everyday wear with keeping my um, thingy on as a winter, as a winter look. So now I have these pants on. I need to go get socks. First I can put this down here. Ooh. Probably should pull this. Yeah. Like I'm putting this on, but it's like I'm scared for some reason. Because I don't think I'm worthy enough to be even putting on his uniform. That's how much pride and how much respect I have for all those who serve and wearing this uniform as a representation of someone who loves their country I don't think I have earned that honor but as I said it is just strictly for the video and I'm in no way taking this lightly I respect this uniform so much so now that I have that on it's time for the belt I think they have like two different types of belt this one is the tape and they have the one that you like buckle through so, but I would be a badass. I'll be kicking asses in the military for being real. My heart can't take it though. And if you ever come into the same chicken, I'm gonna fight you because I'm not a chicken. I just know for myself, I'm not one of those people who's just gonna do it because there's nothing else to do or whatever. I will be doing it because I would probably be serving the country. So, now, I'm going to tighten this up. Wait, I guess I, what did I do wrong? Hmm. Of course I don't put the belt in wrong, because I'm looking for the tape. <laughs> and then I can't find it. I'm like, what the hell? Okay. We got it now. Woo! All right, man, this thing has so much hoop, loop. Know where this belt going right now. You wanna make sure your shirt is well neat because a tiger is a big thing so, in the military. Make, make sure you carry yourself very professional and all. So, wait. Oh, all right. With a bit of ways to be tucked in, girl. I see you. Okay. I'm going to put this in this. Uh, all right. Put this through this loop right here. And to the last one. Yeah, girl. I see you. But one thing is missing though. No, not more than one thing actually. I'm gonna grab some socks. And since this is the cold weather, the socks is differentiated as well. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So this is a pair of socks that he would wear on his day to day in the summer because they're more thin. Since it's winter dressing, these are the socks. They are thick. So this is the winter socks that I'll be wearing today. Oh, child. Oh, I should have put on the sock before I do the belt. Okay. All right. You want to make sure that your socks is all the way up to your knee. Uh, I'm gonna place my hand and then yeah. with, the with this, I'm going to show you guys something about the foot of the, of the pants in a minute. Can bring your socks all the way. And you have to follow every detail because you will get smoked. They will smoke the living hell out of you. These are some old boots, but I think these are the only one who can like probably fit me right now. 
So these aren't the one that they would wear in the winter. They are very heavy, but those are too big for me. So these little ones are kind of getting old. They're old, he doesn't wear them anymore. But I'll just be wearing it for today. Ugh, all right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I see. I see you. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and lace up my shoes. Show you guys what it looks like after we finished here. This is essential of my pants. If you can see, look, you see how tight I have to tie that? Just like that. And then it has some ribbons on it that you tie because you don't want your pants to be all baggy. And then you tie it like a bow, you push it up under your pants. Now, well, the way I saw my husband tie his shoes, let me show you guys how he ties shoes. All right, look at this. He goes like this, and he wrapped it around this, like this. Let's talk. So that's how I'm going to tie it today. So I'm going now. Now that I've got both shoes and both pants tied, let me go out here. Wait, let me move my chair that way you guys can see. You guys can see better. Y'all see this? Girl, girl. <laughs> but I'm missing something though. I need the jacket. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm not scared really. Let me fix the camera back. Uh, so you guys can see. So let me explain to you guys. On the right side, you have their name patch. You have on the shoulder, the flag on the right shoulder. On the left side, I usually iron these, but I just did laundry a couple days ago. You just put them up, so. Right here, you have its rank. Um, he, he has like three different of these because of his different promotions that he got over the years. Now he's a specialist, so this is his rank. This is the US Army um, patch. This is his company. No, I think it's Betelli. Oh, did I not? It's airborne. It's the airborne thing. I think. It... Wait, let me go ahead and see. Thanks. What does this mean? What does this patch mean? Your company? My, no, no, that's my whole unit, baby. Your old unit? That's my brigade. Oh, your brigade. Okay. And this, this is his brigade, his old unit. So this is the airborne, because it's an airborne, like jumping out of planes and killing people. Yeah. <laughs> I said that all the time because every time when someone asks him what is his job, he say jumping out of plane to kill people, which is literally his job. So now I'm gonna. There's a zipper <laughs> here, and so where's the other? Okay, <laughs> actually I've never put this on. So and then there's this one right here. Okay. And then you do like this. And then that's it. So this is how I would look if I was in the military. Well, this is their everyday look. Why can't you see the bottom? I'll show you guys down at the bottom now that you've seen the top. And you see, this is cold weather. Remember, that's why I'm wearing this. So that's what they'll be wearing along with the gloves, which I won't be putting on for this. But this is how they would look in the cold time. Let's go just show you guys now at my hands. Look at my shoes. You can't tell me I don't look like I would be hot in the military. I don't mean hot. I mean, you know, kicking ass in the military. Why? I'll be a bad soldier girl. You know that? Like, I like it. I actually like it. So now I'm going to do the summer, the summertime look. All I need to do for this look is take 
this thing off. Who? Huh. And if you're in a building, if you're not in a building, if you're not in a building, you're gonna need your beret. And the thing about this beret, it is fold in a special way because of how it is supposed to be worn. And I don't want to mess that up because now I don't even know how to put this on. I see a tag, so that means the tag goes to the back. Uh, um, I'm going to cry because I don't know. It shouldn't be open up like this. I don't think so, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... Oh, I see it. It's like this. It's like... No, this shirt. Oh my god, I don't want to do this and hurt is... Like, I should know how to wear this, but I don't know. This is folded like this, so it has to be some... Man! I'll do... I don't know. I'm going to let him put it on. So, turns out, oh, it's hot. I won't be able to wear this beret because it is custom fit to only my husband's head. It is shaved in his wearing, so there's nothing. But just to show you guys how it would be worn, is you would open this up. You would put this. Which one was his right? This was his right. The hangover is right. Okay. <laughs> so you put this on, and while you're putting on, you're pulling down this over your high and putting this back. And this would be like this over his eye. This would be like this over your left. And that's it. That's how it's worn. So this is how. I would look. Oh, it's drawing up my high. Okay. So this is how I would look like that. In a regular uniform. Everyday uniform. Like that. Uh, uh, eyebrow. Oh. Like this. <laughs> so this is how. I don't think you can let your hair down like on your neck. It shouldn't be in your face. Because that's against um, military protocol, protocol and regulation. So yeah. That's it. And if you're going inside a building, you would have to take your beret off and fold it. Well, some people don't go through the process of folding it back, but, and put it away. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Military Challenge. Actually, as I said, I've never seen anyone do it. So you guys let me know if you like it or not. So, and see you in the next video. Bye.